in your research, when you start talking, because I'm fascinated by this, when it comes to things like organ meats, you mentioned liver and heart. Yeah. What kinds of nutrients are you trying to pull, pull so from that? Co coenzyme Q, uh, lipoic mm -hmm. acid, carnitine, mm -hmm. uh, more uh, uh, essential fatty acids during that liver. It's a great source of B12, the B vitamins. It's not a good source of vitamin C. That's where you get from all those greens. So you get your C from there. This is really a phenomenal superfood. So liver once a week, very, very helpful. Oysters, mussels uh, once or twice a week, also very helpful. And if you can get heart uh, once a week, that's also really helpful as well. So are you eating these foods raw? Are you, how are you preparing these foods? So a mixture of raw, cooked, and uh, fermented. So I like to have a lot of uh, sauerkraut, kimchi. Um, and some good uh, probiotics in there. Good, good probiotics, that's marvelous. Uh, if people have inflammatory bowel disease, things all have to be cooked. If you don't have inflammatory bowel disease, uh, I like to have about a half raw, half cooked. And what I was doing was I was reading the basic science and uh, the latest research to identify what are the nutrients that science says brains need. Then I went back again to the database and say, where are these nutrients in the food supply? And so then I redesigned my diet, got rid of all the processed food, any sugar, which actually I'd done years earlier. But now when I stressed what to eat, that's when the magic happened. My mental clarity improves, my energy improves, my pain is gone, and I'm getting stronger for the very first time in seven years. And I know that your protocol is beneficial for people with MS, but yeah. what about people with other autoimmune diseases? Is there any benefit there? Great, great question. We established the Therapeutic Lifestyle Clinic and saw people who are having pain, fatigue, any kind of chronic health challenges came to see us in that clinic. We're helping people with inflammatory bowel disease, rheumatoid arthritis, systemic lupus, fibromyalgia, uh, Parkinson's, cognitive decline, uh, anxiety, depression. And then of course, the usual primary care stuff, obesity, high blood pressure, weight loss. And it's the exact same protocol. Same protocol. For everybody. Yeah, you know, and I'll personalize it. So we have variations for people who are meat eaters and people who are um, vegetarian, vegan for their religious beliefs. And I have uh, a ketogenic version for those who have reasons to be in ketosis. I love how there's a flexibility here with your protocols. So I applaud you for that. Your story is so profound. Of course, you're continuing clinical trials, which is great. I do want to ask you before we go to break, right now, today, as you sit there, how is your health? Uh, what medications are you on? So I'm on gabapentin uh, for my neuropathic pain. Tiny, tiny dose. No disease-modifying drugs since 2008. Uh, I saw, yeah, yeah, that's true. I'm still not running marathons yet. <laughs> I, I'd hope to. Uh, I'm hopeful. I'm biking. I bike to and from work. I feel great. May I ask how old you are, if you don't mind? 64. 